My life be like, wow. yeah. Hey y'all, it's Sue Joy, YouTube number one Indian fan. This tweet came from Drew Allen. He made a really good point. He brought up Ben Bruce from the Wisconsin team. Basically how Jordan gave IU nothing after Wisconsin's stellar adjustment. So at the end of the first half, we were up by one point. But that was the half that Cody scored 18 of his 23 total points. And we, we only scored, what, 59? Our lowest game yet? Good job. That's, that's not how we win basketball. And there's another great comment from a female sports analyst. Obviously. I really have a problem with the term outcoached. I've heard that way too many times in the past few games referring to Tom Crean, and I don't think that's completely the case. We can't expect to win basketball games when we have a stat like Indiana missed 34 shots that they took. Or how about this was the second game in a row that Will Sheehy made zero points. Big names like that, we can't have scoring nothing. And, and not to blame the team either. You can't take a number two team in the Big Ten Conference, losing to an unranked team at one of the most competitive and obviously, in my opinion, the number one place to come in and play basketball at Assembly Hall. And we were defending an 18-game winning streak against an unranked team and lost at our own court. That, that's not Tom Green. You did it. It's because of him. No, it doesn't work like that. But the thing is, when all of those inconsistent things are going on, it comes down to skill. It's just skill to skill, playing basketball. Just hold Tom Crean accountable. He's the coach of the team, obviously. He's held accountable, but he's not solely responsible for what happened. Considering that, plus the refs, not just the refs, but plus the refs, and only scoring 59 points against an unranked team at our home stadium, <laughs> that is what results in a loss. What was unnecessary was all the people leaving. Are you kidding me? Don't come to an IU basketball game and leave early. That's... Oh, it's so like, yay, here's Assembly Hall, everybody, and we're like so excited to show it off to anybody who comes in and either is a fan on the opposing team or they're reporting on the team. Like so many reporters, Sam Ponder, used to be Sam Steele, was covering the basketball game for ESPN, and she was like excited to get to see what all the talk is about Assembly Hall and everything. We're excited to show that off. Don't ruin it at the end and walk out. That's so embarrassing. Plus, I mean, like imagine those guys on the court. They're playing the entire time for us. They were hustling. People were walking out, which I can't imagine how it feels to be down by however many points. The time's ticking down. You're dribbling the ball. You're thinking about what you're doing, passing, and you just all you can see out of your peripheral vision is all those people turning their backs and walking out. Come on. I can't imagine if I had that mindset during the Kentucky game last year and I walked out and I didn't see live, up close, Front row, Christian Watford hitting that three-point shot, winning the game, and we flooded the court. Outside to Watford, three on the way. Oh! It went in! It went in! And Indiana wins the ball game! Never walk out early. Ever. What else? Oh, there's a lot of talk about our bench mob. Not scoring. The playing time they do get, they need to, like, rock it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. What else? Oh! We broke another school record last night. Not only did we get a season low of 59 points, but we also got a season high of the BS chance. Woo! Go Hoosiers. Yeah. I wish I would have counted. I started counting after a while, but not supposed to cuss or whatever. So I remember in high school, people would try to do this motion and say, and act like they're saying push it, but they're saying bullshit, but bullshit. Bullshit, <laughs> you know. So, uh, go Hoosiers for breaking school records because we all seem to really love the officiating at the game. Um, one last thing before I go. Please go to facebook.com slash Hoosierlist and like my page. Give it a thumbs up. And if you watch this video, please click the thumbs up button on that too because that just helps with everything. Makes me look kind of cooler. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're watching this video off of YouTube, it goes with a blog. So make sure you go to HoosierSportsNation.com and read the blog that goes with this video. What else? My website's under construction. So if you go to HoosierList.com, it's not very fun. It's like hasn't changed in a long time, but I can't edit it right now. So it's like really old. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, um, boycotting cheese for a week. I mean, who cares? Whatever. That's not like saying, oh, Wisconsin sucks. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying all the Hoosiers as a whole. Let's just boycott cheese. For like a week or until the next if you're a super hoosier just be done with it until we play them again and beat them yeah
At least our Hoosiers do have a little bit of time before the next matchup. Get some time to rest. I think they play on Sunday, right? That's pretty much all I have for you today. Thanks for watching another non-Friday Hoosierless Friday. See ya! And keep the weird pictures from the games coming. Those are funny. Now, was it just me, or was it an extremely un-Cheeto of a night? I mean, for most teams. Call me stupid, call it kid, or whatever you want, but I had to walk home in this jersey. Do you know how cold it was walking home in this jersey? I think the pain from their loss just numbed my body and allowed me to survive, because that was extremely miserable. Usually I'll ride my bike to the game, so... I'm going to be totally honest with you. Done zero homework. Haven't slept for days. I'm not happy about the game. I'm gonna finish this video later. Anyways, back to what I was saying.